everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tyler Tracy and I'm in this video in today's video I'm about to be refreshing my hair got to get the lips nice and moisturized but y'all gonna be my mirror I wasn't gonna record a video I really wasn't but um I can't find my mirror so yeah, I guess I will record. I was like, okay, they'll get a video today. Because I was not planning on recording. But, did you know what? Well, fuck it. Fuck it. needed another scrunchie okay so i'm just going to keep my part so my hair is like tangled and shit like that so that's why like look yeah we can't have that so this is hot water in my spray bottle and I'm using Melanin Hair Care. So the reason why I have hot water in my spray bottle is so that my hair can absorb the water and not sit on top. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was cold water, it would just sit on top of my hair and it wouldn't do shit. And I don't have time for that, personally. Um, so I am just... Ooh. Re... Just getting these knots and tangles out. Okay, so did you see how shrinking up it was? Yeah, we don't want that. So. You wanna know what I hate? I hate when company comes over and I'm recording and they're like, oh my God, what's your YouTube channel, bitch? Don't ask some shit. Like I don't. <laughs> like, why are you asking me questions? What are you talking about? This shit is so fucking annoying. Oh my god, what's your channel? I don't know. And then it be older people too. Like they just ask dumbest they ask the dumbest questions. How much money do you make doing that? Like you're in my fucking business at that point, and I don't like that shit. That shit is so fucking rude to ask. Like, how would you feel if I asked your dumb ass, how much do you make at your job? If I saw you working. Like, what the fuck? That'd be so fucking weird. Like, that shit is dumb as hell. And I think just because they old. I won't say no dumb shit back. Oh, no, baby, I will. Like, you don't think that's a rude question to ask somebody? 
Then they don't know what to say. They look so shocked and appalled. Why are you shocked that I said that? You don't think that's a rude question to ask somebody? Just because I'm a young person doesn't mean you can just ask me whatever the fuck you want to. Just because you're old or you're older. No, bitch, like you're still rude. <laughs> like the fuck? I don't know, they be looking at me like, oh, did she really just, yes, I really just did, because that's a rude ass question to ask somebody. How much money do you make from that? If I make a million dollars, or if I make two cents from my videos, that ain't none of your damn business, ever. Ever. And I don't know, I guess it's because I have home training, I don't ask people dumb ass questions like that. Oh, how much money do you make? How much money do you make doing that? Bitch, try it out for yourself and find out. Go figure it the fuck out for yourself. You got a phone, you got a camera, get you a light, set up, start talking. Upload. And you can see for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is just weird to me. People just be asking the dumbest shit. And then when I hit them with a dumbass question, they look at me like I'm the problem. You asking me dumb shit. Like what? I don't know. Or maybe I'm, I, I, I don't know. I just never got that. How you asking dumb shit and you mad at me when I match your energy? Your dumb ass energy. Makes no sense to me. sense to me. I have to now detangle this. This is why you go to sleep with your bonnet on. I knew what I was doing though. Now, yes, my hair may look damaged, but it's not. I promise you it's not. It's just low porosity. I didn't think about doing these braids with these nails before I started. My acne is getting so bad. I think it's cute that I'm getting taken out every week on dates and stuff like that. But, like, I need to lay off. Because every time, you, because, you know, okay. Does anybody have a signature drink that they just gravitate towards no matter where they're going? Because they just know it's going to be bomb no matter where they go. Mine is, is natural strawberry lemonade, right? Everybody's strawberry lemonade is different, especially at restaurants and stuff like that. So, I'm going to all these different damn restaurants and I'm getting... 
strawberry lemonade. And mind you, I've been going out every week. So it's like, it's cute that I'm getting taken out on dates and stuff like that every week. But it's just like, okay, I gotta, um, something gotta give. I have to have more discipline because my face, <laughs> my face, look at my face. I have to have more discipline. So next time I go on a date, I'm gonna order water. Because it just makes no sense that I'm just like this is just this is my doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how something is your fault and you can't really like be mad because it's your fault. And it's like, okay, well, I knew I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did it anyway, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, so yeah, right now I am just trying to detangle my hair because it is tangled, honey. Child, it's tangled. But this brush gonna do it every time though, amen? Amen. And then I will just wear these braids for a minute. If I need to go out somewhere, I'll wear a turban, head wrap. But yeah, if I need to go somewhere, I'll just wear my little head wrap. And, um, yeah. Call it a day. And then I have my Kuzla Indian Hemp Grease right here that I'm going to use um, when I get done. So, yeah. Okay, update. So, I've been dating. Um, and, yeah, he's cool. He's real, real cool. I do want to say um if a man fuck with you he gonna do it he gonna do it you feel me saying he gonna do it you feel me And that's what I had to learn when it came to like dating and shit. If somebody fuck with you, they go, they gonna do it. Like for real, no ifs, ands, or buts. And if they not doing it, they don't fuck with you like that. And it don't matter what that it is. Cause some dudes, will just like say they gonna do some shit just to like you know give you that fantasy or whatever the fuck but if it's not a direct yes when it comes to me and dating now I take that as a no you know what I'm saying like if you're not planning shit we not doing shit. You're not calling me consistently. Basic, bare minimum shit. It's like, okay. Yeah. I'm not going to be talking to you long. Because you're irritating me and you're wasting my motherfucking time at that point. I don't know. It's just... 
I ain't with that nonchalant BS. Like, you need to show me you like me. <laughs> you really do. You need to show me you like me. Because if not, I will gladly cut you off. Gladly. These days, brother, I am not finna cry or argue with your dumb ass. Because you're not doing what the fuck you need, you need to do. You feel me? There is somebody else out here that will do and can and wants to. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, don't um beg people to do shit. Not a damn thing. Fuck, I look like bear begging you to do the bare minimum. That don't make no sense. Absolutely the fuck not. Okay, we're gonna make this one braid. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it need to be too. Hell. It's really the root that's. I love this stuff. It just gets my hair nice and just in line and together. Look at that. Just butter. Butter. Y'all seen how my hair was before? A hot ass mess. And now it's just like butter. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I really like braid outs because they just you can do so much, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to take these braids down right away. And then it gives your hair elongation, which I really don't be caring about. Like, look at how shrunken my hair looks right now. But look at how these braids are elongated and looking nice. Yeah, I fuck with that. My mama looked at my hair, she said, oh, I could never be natural. Like, girl, it really ain't that much work. It's really not that much work. It's really not work at all to me. This is just me refreshing my hair. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. But other people, when they look at my hair, they're like, oh, my God. I'm like, girl, well, let me do it then. That's why I do my own hair. Like, I don't really be into people, letting people play with my hair like that. Unless I know for a fact, like, you're certified and I know you're going to fuck with me well. Like, the glow and flow ladies, I trust them. I trust them to do my hair. Um, I have a cousin in Atlanta. She does hair. So, when I go out there, she does my, my silk presses. If she has time, right? Because I always ask, like, oh, are you... Do you have time for me? I really think she'd be lying and, be, and just be squeezing me in. Because <laughs> she says yes. And it's like, are, are you lying? Are you trying to? 
you know I don't know but yeah I have a couple people that I let do my hair because people don't have passion no more for it you know what I'm saying to them it's just like a job which is fine but you not finna just job my hair you feel me I need somebody that's going to be passionate as I am about my hair you know what I'm saying because I'm very passionate when it comes to my hair I take my hair very seriously my hair is my crown my hair is my glory even if I didn't have none I would definitely keep up my my little taper or whatever fuck you know what I'm saying like I like to I like that my hair is growing and I like that my hair is flourishing at this very moment in time so with that being said I need to fuck with somebody or I need to be in a salon where people care just as much about my hair as I do. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. That just makes sense. Okay, so I want y'all to look at this side. And look at this side. Ignore the parts. I know they're not straight. I don't give a damn. Doesn't this side look nice and moisturized? And this side is just turmoil and mayhem and foolishness. You see the difference? I keep telling y'all, melanin hair care is the way to go, especially in the winter time. Because your hair is drier in the winter months. You know what I mean? So it's like you want to make sure you have good products that are nice and moisturizing. Because look at my hair. It looks dry as fuck. It feels dry as fuck. But look at this side. Nice and moisturized. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Try to do six on this side. But yeah, yeah. keep telling y'all melanin hair care is way to go and for my new subscribers um i'm trying to tell y'all melanin hair care if you are looking for something that's going to last as well um because i know that was a big complaint y'all was like oh i like what i use but it doesn't last a long time melanin hair care is going to last you a minute um, because you don't need that much of it and it's so thick in consistency it is well depending on what you think is expensive it is a little pricey but definitely worth it so like this jar is $20 but it's worth it because it has good ingredients you don't need that much it's going to last you and it's going to keep your hair nice and moisturized. So it's like that's a win-win. But depending on what you think is expensive, it might be expensive to me. Um, I don't mind investing in my hair if, the shit, if I know the shit works. And Melanie Hair Care is just one of those brands that I stand beside when it comes to the natural hair community. If you were to ask me, hey, what brand, what's one of your staple brands? I would say Melanie Hair Care and Camille Rose. Because when I don't feel like going to Ulta or Sephora, for melanin hair care, I go to the beauty supply store and I get Camille Rose because Camille Rose is legit everywhere. Camille Rose is in Walgreens, Walmart, Target, hair stores, you know what I'm saying? Um, Camille Rose is just more like, okay. The closest Ulta to me I 
I don't even know. But the hair store is down the street. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah. Um, so when I don't feel like using, when I don't feel like uh, going to Ulta or Sephora, I just use my Camille Rose. Or I go get some Camille Rose. But I don't need any Camille Rose right now because this is a big ass jar. So. Yeah. Look at how long. Yay. All right. Next break. But I just love how my hair goes from like not moisturized to moisturized with this product. And that is why it's my fave. I ain't telling no lies. And you see how it just gets the tangles out? Somebody asked me if I was going to try that viral brush on TikTok. No. I just feel like it's a waste of money. Especially when I have stuff that works for me. Like, okay guys. When I... I pretty much have a solid, I pretty much have solid stuff that work for me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want y'all to comment like, oh, you should try this. You should try this. That is not what this channel is. I don't get on here and just try stuff. Like I will once in a blue moon, you know, if I see something that, you know, sparks my attention, I'll buy it and try it. But this is not a product review type of channel. This is, I'm doing my hair. Let me record it so y'all can see my techniques and how I braid and how I do do things. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a how to grow and maintain your hair type of channel. You feel me? Because I got a comment that was like, you do the same styles all the time. Bitch, these same styles that I'm doing over and over again is helping my hair to grow. That's why my hair is, you know what I'm saying? That's why my hair is the length that it is. You use the same stuff in every video. You eventually want to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because I guarantee you, these uh YouTubers that's using different shit every week, their hair isn't growing. Y'all can do that research for yourself. Look at a YouTuber, right? Go watch like an OG YouTuber, right? And see that she's, tr you will see that she is trying so much shit that her hair is not even growing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be that type of channel because I was turning into that type of channel. I was like, bro, like I'm not trying to turn into this type of channel where I just, where I'm just trying everything just because it's out. You feel me? That's not going to grow your hair. So if you were looking for that type of content, you need to go watch somebody else. Because that's not all. I have a burn. Yeah. I burned myself under my arm. Um, But yeah, if you was looking for that kind of content... Baby, that ain't me. You know, it's not me. I'm sorry. I'm actually not sorry because it's my shit. But yeah, y'all gonna have to watch somebody else for that. Here on this channel, we like to grow and maintain what we already have. So if that is boring to you, then baby so be it and sometimes you might get a story time uh a little unboxing here and there sometimes i'll be ranting on here um thinking about putting my controversial videos on here as well I'm not sure yet but i'm thinking about Think about it. 
but yeah this is just the family like we laugh we cry we talk shit and you know i'm not close with my family so i'm glad that i made a channel where i can just be myself be my authentic raw self where i am accepted no matter i'm just accepted you feel me that's that's what i wanted and i got it and the pay ain't bad either you know what i'm saying so you know i'm glad that my channel is growing and flourishing um people tell me all the time kyla you deserve more subscribers yeah but you know when i was when I had 100 subscribers, I was begging for 3,000. You know what I'm saying? So, we're growing slowly, but we're growing. There's progress. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am so thankful that my channel... I'm thankful for the little, little subscribers I got now. You know? I don't mind. I really don't. I don't mind. So, And then this is also a channel where, like, you know, you can just sit and do your hair with me. Or I could just be playing in your background while you're getting ready for work or something. Do y'all like the new, um, I meant to ask y'all. Did y'all like the new, I got a new phone, right? So do y'all like the new quality? You know, how y'all, are y'all fucking with it? Can y'all tell a difference? Because I went from my iPhone, I went from my iPhone 11 to an iPhone 15, the newest one. And I was like, oh wow, this quality, I'm I'm fucking with it for real, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I was like, okay. Okay, you doing something. You doing your big one. Yeah. I'm only trying to do six. One, two, three, four. Hold on, how many I got over there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I'm probably going to have to have seven on this side. I think I have more hair on this side. So this will be five. I'm almost done, y'all. I don't really care about my parts being perfect. Look at it at all. Oh, shit, Lord. Ooh. Ooh. See, that's the problem. Get all that here in place. Okay. All right, so make sure. And like I said, y'all, this is warm water. This is not cold water. Okay. Warm water just absorbs better for me. I'm just gonna do a little bit light, a light finger detangle. Because this is the front of my head. I'm not trying to thin this part out. Got to be very gentle. Because this is like close to your edges and shit. You know. Oh. 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 I'm 
going to water bottle shopping today, so I'm going I'm just going to wear a um turban or a head wrap. I don't know why I keep calling it a turban. I'm going to wear a head wrap and um let's call it a day. But um I don't know. I I did not I want a water bottle, but I don't want that that damn Stanley cuz I'm not paying $45 for a bottle and it, it can't even hold water properly, you know what I'm saying? Like if it, if you, if it spills over, water is just gonna come gushing out. That's not what I want with a water bottle. That's forty five dollars. Absolutely the fuck not. I feel like that is ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and I'm gonna get the dupe. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get the dupe. I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and get the dupe. <sighs> um. I'm just, I just don't see myself paying that much money for a water bottle. And if it tips over just a little bit, water is just going to be everywhere. No, absolutely not. No. I, I don't see it for me. Don't see that for me. I might add rubber bands at the ends. Who knows? All right, y'all coming up on 40 minutes. But that's fine. It had to be done. It had to be done. Are y'all ready for November? Oh my God. Like, October none came and had somewhere to go. October is like that cousin that just drops by for a little minute. And then they be ready to go after some time. It's like, all right, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? I literally told my mom, I said, if she ever wants me to, like, come to family gatherings, I will pop in. And, and I don't live in the same state. I said, depending on who you invite, I will come in the day of and leave that same night i don't know it's just because like whenever we would go somewhere for the holidays we would just stay so fucking long not even for holiday like anytime i go somewhere with my mama like that's out of states we stay a fucking week and it's like bro i don't want to be around these damn people for a week too long Last time I went to somewhere with my mama, we stayed there for a fucking week. And I was like, bro, like, this is too much. Like, the, I went, where I go? I went to a fucking funeral, right? Cool. Flew in. Funeral was the next day. All right, cool. I'm ready to leave after that. <laughs> like, all right, she, yo, she's gone. I'm ready to leave. Why are we here for five extra fucking days to do what and then mind you it was in a town where it wasn't nothing to do we went to we went to flint michigan what is there to do absolutely nothing i was like yo y'all gonna have to um I'm like, yeah, this 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 ain't gonna work. <laughs> and then mind you, we flew, so it's not like, you know. It's not like I could go anywhere. Cause we didn't rent a car. So it's like fuck, I'm I'm stuck with these motherfuckers till you know what I'm saying? I be on other people's I think that's what I what I dread most being on other motherfuckers time I don't like that at all I want to be on my time and then I was staying with family it's like bro I don't I don't want to stay with y'all like if I go anywhere I'm getting a fucking hotel and I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting a hotel because whenever I go somewhere with my mom I always gotta sleep with her and it's like 
I'm, I'm not into that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, thank you. Oh, it's just for the holidays. It's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I think I'm good. Everybody in my mama family snore. So it's just like, bro, I, I can't. Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. Absolutely the fuck not. All right, y'all. We on our last spray. I'm about to apply my grease, my scalp treatment. Okay, so you see how nice and shiny my hair is? That's what we want. Nice and shiny, well moisturized. y'all are enjoying my authentic videos <laughs> okay grease this is the kuza kuza indian hemp that'll be my thumbnail all right we just gonna take some of this And let it marinate in the parts. y'all thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is kyla latrice let me show y'all let me show y'all all my shit from having a detangle that's how much hair i lost but it was shade hair and it was you saw it was a time trying to detangle that shit so yeah i will see y'all in the next video.